Mm. Ho, 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 lovely. Yes. Yeah, there's not many red bags. Right. Okie dokie. in the shed, taking that off, and we've got the bale trailer outside. If you could give these videos a thumbs up, it would be hugely appreciated. I'm trying to get that new shed. All right, so we put the container in the shed, put the sides on earlier on, as you can see, drop them on now. The bale sides, to stop the bales obviously coming off, the bale ladders, and we've got a tractor. <laughs> With the front loader on, which we, we put on yesterday. I've also in here, in the cab today, I have a treat. I've got a mince pie. All right, so let's go and pick up these bales. We've got some barley straw to go and pick up from the summer, which was put on the side of the fields with that little loader over there. And we're gonna go and pick them up, bring a trailer load back into the yard, and then I'm also waiting for the delivery of the car feed, which was supposed to come a couple of days ago, and it's, um, I've been told it will come today at some point. So I've got my phone here, and someone will call me, hopefully, uh, not when we're doing the straw carting, but uh, someone will call me, so I'll come back, go to the yard, get in the manatee, and we'll unload that. So, let's go. So these bales of straw will mainly be used for bedding because they've been kept outside. Uh, this year we stored about 210 inside and uh, we used the indoor bales for feed because they're a lot cleaner, obviously. Whereas these ones have been kept outside, they have a bit of a crust on them, which we, uh, we much prefer to use them for bedding down animals in open barns, so it works out quite well. It's not as manoeuvrable, of course, as obviously a, a teleander, but you get used to it. In an open field like this, it's perfect for a loader tractor because you've got the room. Whereas uh, sometimes, if you're in the yard, the loader tractor can get can be a bit, a bit too big a bit too tight around the yard, but in a big field, it's not too bad. <laughs> Missed that one a bit. Come on, girl. Yeah. Right, well, we're just uh, just finishing off loading this trailer up. I'll just finish off my lunch and have a uh, mince pie. Mmm. Ho, 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 lovely. those bales and just in the nick of time because we've got the uh, yes car food yes all right yeah there's not many red bags no i haven't seen one yet all right well that's what i like to hear oh, oh is that oh, that's not good <laughs> yeah well i try not to rip any bags very expensive cargo. Sweet. Right. Okie dokie. 
，因为那泥沼。All right, we've unloaded the car feed, brought the straw in, and now we've got these parsnips here because we're just getting ready to bring in the harvest this year for the feed, the cattle feed, which is fodder beet. And uh, we've got some old parsnips in this clamp, which we made out of straw. So they've got to be cleaned up, gotten rid of, ready for this afternoon or tomorrow when we're going to put some new food in here, some fodder beet. So there is a bit of waste from our stock feed, the parsnips which we had delivered in. We used most of the parsnips, about 25 tonnes, and we've got four tonnes which have gone a bit mouldy. Unfortunately, because the winters have been so mild over the last sort of five to 10 years, the, uh, the stock feed doesn't last like it used to. So nothing will go to waste here on the farm because that will go in the trailer, or go in the muck pile, it'll be spread. It's all organic matter, which will go back in the soil in our hungry light land. It will be used to build up organic matter in the soil. Over the next couple of days, I, I'm hoping you guys will see uh, the sugar beet harvester coming in to harvest all of the fodder beet and the sugar beet, which will go off to be made into sugar. Uh, and then the fodder beet we're gonna use to feed the animals. So that will be in the next video. Uh, do give these videos a thumbs up, do give them a like, tell your friends, tell your family. We're trying to get that new shed for next year and we're currently getting the shepherd's hut built for subscribers so soon you'll be able to book a holiday on the farm uh, i do hope you're enjoying the christmas period we had our first frost this morning which has been really good for killing off some of the weeds we do need a good frost every now and then and with that i'm going to go and get the scraper tractor now to start scraping up this yard start tidying it up when we get that fent in or a john deere carting beat which will be in the next video so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another ollie's farm video Mm-hmm.